Hi, I'm Jody Ross, Westford's Town Manager, and this week I'm taking you out to our community garden. And with me I have Selectman Elizabeth Almeida and Patty Mason. So Elizabeth, tell us what's going on at the garden this year. We're having a terrific year at the garden. We have about 150 families participating in the community garden. We've filled up all the plots. So we're off to a good start. Folks are taking home a lot of food and we're making weekly donations to the food pantry as well. We'd like to invite the community to visit the garden on August 9th. In the afternoon from three to four, town employees and board members are invited. And then in the evening from six to seven, we invite the greater community to stop by and see what's growing here. That's awesome. Now, Patty, tell us about your garden this year. Um, my garden is over here, and we have uh, growing lots of things, and uh, there's four of us doing it, which sometimes helps take, relieve some of the work, especially for us older people. And uh, we're growing all kinds of vegetables, and like you say, giving them to the senior center. And I was there on Monday when the, many of the seniors received our vegetables, and they couldn't believe the things that we were giving them already type of thing. Um, also, we have the pumpkin patch that we grow all the pumpkins for the town departments that we give in October and uh, weekly we give out education information through the forum for the gardeners so it's really a fun place we all kinds of ethnic foods regular vegetables we're learning a lot so Elizabeth, I hear you have a very uh, big garden this year so tell us about the garden and show us a couple of your vegetables I do. I may have gotten carried away. We're calling this our French garden because we've laid it out in a circular pattern. And right in the center we have some mammoth sunflowers. We have pole beans that are climbing up the sunflowers. And in the spirit of the Three Sisters Gardens, we put some squash in the middle. And then in this triangle we have um, haricot verts, keeping with the French garden theme. Um, a lot of haricot verts going bordered by red Russian kale. And we are also growing a second variety of kale called Toscano kale. And we have a red cabbage right in the center there. And then we have two types of pole beans. Um, these with the purple flowers are rattlesnake pole beans, which will be a variegated purple and green color. And then our second trellis, or the first trellis in the garden there, will be yard-long red noodle beans. So we grow um, some old favorites that we always like, such as tomatoes and cucumbers, and then every year we like to try out some different varieties as well. Beth, I know this garden has been here a couple of years now, but can you tell our residents how they can become involved and become farmers themselves? Sure, so the gardening application process starts in January, and the application is available on the town website, so folks can go there and even join our email list from the town website right now. And we'll notify you in January when applications are available, and then we have a mandatory meeting in April and the garden opens at the end of April. What, what does it cost, Elizabeth, to have a plot? A 15 by 15 garden plot is $25 and you can take up to four of those per family. That's great. Well, I'm gonna come back and help her weed a little bit so I can maybe take home some vegetables. But thank you very much, Elizabeth, for joining us today. Sure. So this is Jody Ross saying goodbye for this week. I'm gonna go home and clean my carrots and have a little snack. So thank you for joining us in Westford's Community Garden.